Well, this video is quite hard to start and I've been debating how to start this because this is, I know I'm going to put something in the title and it's not clickbait, but I think to actually tell you more how I'm feeling, I'm going to talk about the sweater first, just because I think by telling you why I'm why I'm going to pull this back after I've finished it will then tell you why I'm unraveling the channel. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. So yes, if this is your first time you've been on this channel, this is not the video for you. This video is for my long time, I'm going to call you companions um, because I don't think followers or viewers actually convey how I feel about the people that have been with me for years and how much I appreciate you and it lights up my life when I see comments from you and I recognise it's from you so I'm going to call you companions because we've been along this journey some of us for about eight years <laughs> and so I thank you for that I've had really good times but let me just tell you about the sweater. So this is the love note and I really love the love note as a pattern. I've not finished my ends because I knew I wasn't happy with it as soon as I was blocking it. And the reason is because I've gone wrong. I think right in the centre there, you probably can't even see it. And if it wasn't for other reasons, I wouldn't pull it back for that. I'd try and correct it. The actual, we see the stem coming down it doesn't come down straight on this one I've obviously gone wrong early on I didn't notice it but apart from that I do love the pattern but I do feel that when you have open lace work I find it harder to actually wear and you've got to think what you're wearing underneath it and I do like a neck to be closer so you can't see the t-shirt or whatever you're wearing underneath so it looks neater. I always do my cast on my neck now on a smaller needle that is recommended and do the ribbon in a smaller needle just so that it brings it in more. Um, because I know, as I've said for eight years, I've got a small head and so I know I can get my head through it. So whereas designers do it bigger, so it accommodates everybody i know i can go smaller so i did that so i'm really happy with the fit of it but i just thought the way i'm feeling about the whole of the videos that i'm watching i just feel disconnected to what other knitters are doing and it's all about because people are so into knitting they want to do all the different patterns and have different projects on the go and the past few years i've just been going more and more not so interested in doing different patterns and just wanting a basic one it's more about the yarn and the color of the yarn for me really that i get my enjoyment and i've just not been i've been going with it it's just been this battle not so consciously but just a battle of what I want and I just feel that I would be much happier with this if it was just plain which is not good for making videos because then it's boring for you if you if you are a knitter with a capital K then you want to try all the different patterns you're excited to do the different patterns that are coming out and that's great and I was like that a few years ago but I have changed in my taste and generally through life, just as the whole world has changed over the last couple of years. I've also been through the menopause in that time. And I'm just, I just feel differently. And like they say, friendships, you get, I'm gonna do it wrong, but it's some people are for a reason, some people for a season, some people are for a lifetime. And just as, I think this is the end of my season for doing these videos and I just don't feel like when I started, I started from a place of I found, discovered the videos and it was all exciting, I learnt a lot, all like the modern things that other people are doing in different countries 
and so that moved on to me wanting to join let's start making videos which i did and then because people saw my knitting wanted to learn to knit people saw my cross stitch wanted to learn to cross stitch and so i started doing tutorials because there wasn't many tutorials to help people do that and oops sorry just losing my pad and i've just lost my why i just don't feel like i've got anything to bring to the videos now and I appreciate that I will get comments they say I'd just like to check in with you and I appreciate that and I know that from the same because I still watch a handful of creators just because I want to keep in contact with those people I want to see what they're doing but not for other reasons and it's just not a big enough why for me to carry on making those videos, even though I really do appreciate the people that have been with me, like I say, and I am planning on making at least one video, like at the end of the year, just to say, this is what I've been doing over the next six months. So it might be like a load of flax and socks that are just plain socks. So if you're interested in that, then you can see that yes, I am a well and living my life and doing these things, but it's not going to be inspirational for anybody that wants to do different types of knitting. So that is the reason, really. So I should show you what else I've been knitting. I'm going to put a t-shirt back on because it is warm today. So I should go and have a quick change. But yes, the flat sweater. Hello, let me tell you what I knit it out of because it's drop slimmer. I really like this yarn. It's really soft, feels nice against the skin. So I'll definitely be using this again. It's a DK weight. As I say, this is the Flax sweater by Tim Candid. So if I come a bit closer, you can see the pattern more. So it is a lovely pattern and it's intended to be knit with mohair. Another reason why I don't feel like I'm in the loop anymore because I don't use mohair. So it's supposed to be one strand of mohair, one strand of another finger in lace weight and but this is just one strand of a dk which is 65 percent wool 35 percent alpaca but i think it works well for this sweater but it is more of a, a autumn winter sweater doing it this way so i'm going to take it off <laughs> that's better in a nice comfortable t-shirt again now <laughs> so what else have I been knitting? Well, I've been very slow, just having one project at a time. I'm very much into just taking my time and enjoying the process and just one project is enough for me at the moment. So I've also finished some socks. I don't know if I started these last time we spoke or not, but these are just in the um, Yarnsmith Merino sock from Wool Warehouse, their own brand, which is 75% merino wool and 25% nylon. I really like how they feel. They are a nice soft yarn. I would recommend these. I've not worn them because it's been so warm. So I think I've worn them once just to check the fit of them because I was excited because it finished. <laughs> but it's been too hot for these sort of socks at the moment. So I've not really worn them much. But I'm really happy with how they are. And yeah, I'll be making some more socks with that. They do so many different colours in that yarn and it's a really good price. I think it's about eight pounds. I think it's supposed to be about eight pounds for 100 grams, but I've never paid full price. And with it being the Wool Warehouse own yarn, I think there might be a lot of offers, so I'm definitely going to wait for offers. I also got, as you saw, some turquoise yarn. It wasn't at the same time it was afterwards, but still got it at the reduced price. And I've just started casting on another flax light, which is, they call it flax sock now. So it's, um, what is it? <laughs> think Tina, think. So it's fingering weight four ply yarn. And it's, so like I said, it's the 75% merino and the 25% nylon. And yeah, I think it's going to make a really nice sweater. If you don't know, the flax is just a basic Ragland long sleeve sweater. 
and nice easy knit it has got ribbon that goes down the sleeve as a detail i don't generally put that on i just miss that part out so it's just a very plain sweater so that's all i wanted with the increases um so yeah i've just cast on like i said before on the other one cast on smaller needles so this one i've cast on with three millimeter needles for the ribbon and then i've gone up to a 3.5 whereas the pattern is so 3.75 so i'm just going to be knitting a sweater out of that so i don't know when i'm going to be finished that because i'm just going to be taking my time i've also started whereas before i'd always think if i'm sitting then i'm doing something where i've sort of pulled back from that so now i'm more i'll just sit outside with a cup of coffee and i'll just listen to the birds and just take a few minutes just be doing nothing and just be a bit calmer a bit slower just slowing everything down and i've definitely been sleeping better now and yeah just not i haven't because of the menopause it's broke up my sleep so much that it threw my sleeping way out and i have been getting better at sleeping but i've also had still been getting up really early a lot and that has really diminished because i'm not thinking laying there thinking oh I've been trying to sleep for so long, I'm bored now, I might as well just get up and do some of that knitting. Now I think, no, I'm not going to, this is sleep time, and I have been falling asleep again, so I have been getting more sleep, I'm just thinking, no, it's not knitting time, it's sleep time, let's just sleep. <laughs> so yes, I'm just a bit of a reset, that's what I've been doing, it's just, just, I feel like because... You, as you might know from the previous video, I was made redundant. And so I'm I'm at a bit of a crossroads at the minute anyway. I'm 57 now. And yeah, just a bit of a, where am I now? What are my priorities? How do I want to lead my daily life? Let's just have a little think about this. So that's where I am. So that is all the knitting that I've done. I've not really done much cross stitch either. So I've not done this month's of the Tiny Modernist um, sti tarot for stitches, but I've done some of it. I got behind because we were on holiday. We went away to Europe for nearly three weeks. So that's why that slowed up. Yeah, this, the job hunting has been really been on hold because we went on that holiday. So I thought my husband said, just, just leave it for now. Let's have an, enjoy the holiday. And then when we come back, sort of nearly enough three weeks later, then start looking for a job. So, but yeah, that's fine. I'm happy to do that. Why not? <laughs> so I thought that was going to be the case. But then we both got the bug that shall not be named on the internet. So we both got that. So I got it first. I kindly passed it on to Gary. So we were fine. It was just a nasty cold. But it meant we were isolating to protect other people. So it just meant that I was literally housebound for two weeks. So I wanted to make sure I was over that before starting to apply for jobs. So yeah, it's been, I haven't really got very far on that front. So I've had plenty of time to think things over, but I've still not been crafting that much. So, <laughs> I, so because of that, I am behind on... Um, well, I'm not behind because I haven't done this month. It comes out, you have two of the cards each month. So those were, no, those were, that end, were last month's. I really like the quilt with the lion. And I didn't notice till I picked this up to show this today that I haven't put the E on the, the hermit. <laughs> So yeah, once again, just shows that I've not been on it really. But yeah, I'm still enjoying this and I am going to finish it. So when I come back at the end of the year for a quick little update, then you will see this completely finished. When I finish this is when I will think, right, now's the time to do the video. Okay, so that's Tiny Modernist and it's the stitcher, the stitcher. The tarot for stitches, which I'm sure you can still get and catch up because it doesn't matter if it's you're doing it at the same time as it comes out, does it? I was just trying to keep up to date because I want to finish it by the end of the year. 
So the only other thing is the Emma Comden. This is the only project that I took knitting. I didn't take any knitting with me. I knew I wouldn't have a lot of time because as I said, we were traveling through Europe. So I took this so I had something to pick up if I just had that need to craft. But it was a road trip, so we were limited on space anyway, so I didn't want to take a lot with me. And so I just did that top section, live in the sunshine. And so, yeah, not a lot done. But then when I returned, I didn't do any more. And I picked up the fox with the poppies, but I haven't done anything really to show you. I'm so close to finishing as I was last time you saw it that I'll wait until it's finished before I show you that again. So that is all that. Did I say probably what it, this was? This is Emma Comden and it is from the nature book. It's her nature one. It's the... Um, earth book so you'll see i think there's four books now so yes yeah, from out of one of the books but i shall update you hopefully well i don't know if it'll be finished if it's finished it's finished if it's not it's not it doesn't matter because i'm a slow crafter <laughs> so yes you may see me and i wanted to be honest about this as well that i am thinking about starting a different channel for where I am now but I won't advertise it on this channel because this is all about crafts and that is not going to be about crafts but I wanted out of respect for you I wanted to say just in case you saw it coming up and think well she didn't say that she was going to be over there so if you are interested in slow living and minimalism and low spend and all that sort of thing i'm going to be exploring that more as i said that's where my interest is whereas i said that i've lost my why making videos on this channel i feel i've got a why for making videos for that channel and i do love making videos i love the creativity of it and it is a hobby in itself and i do miss that but i've got to have that why of what am i bringing what what have I got to say or to show that I feel will not only entertain, but make give somebody something to think about and think, oh, actually, I'll give that a try because maybe that will make my life easier or happier or just more fulfilled or just less, less stress. So, yeah, we all come from different places we've all got different lives even if the outside people might think that our life is similar to someone else there's something unique in all of us so nobody can tell anybody else how to live and but it's nice to see how other people live to get different ideas and i know that different videos have helped me and i'd like to just explore different things and take things further myself so that's where i am so, like I say, I'm not going to tell you exactly where I am <laughs> on YouTube, but a video might pop up. And if you are interested in the sort of things I'm talking about, then I'm sure that YouTube will offer you those videos because they're very much linking people together that's got similar interests. So I'm sure you will find me if you're interested in that. But if you're not interested in that, then I'll just share what I've been doing on here and I hope you'll join me and say hello because I'd love to hear from you. So take care, I hope you have a wonderful summer and I will see you again before the year end. Bye for now.